Hi, this is Ryan with Iron Planet Hobbies. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Digikai's DR4018 to work with any DCC system, and we will be programming it using JMRI. To get started, first thing you'll notice here, uh, how to connect this to your DCC system. It's very simple. Um, you can see here on mine, I have it connected to the track output. So this is your track bus. Uh, you can connect it straight to your command station or anywhere on the layout that you have access to your track bus wires and simply plug them into the signal and then you can daisy chain it over to the power. And this is a very easy way to go ahead and connect the board just for programming it and setting it up. However, for normal operation use, you will probably want to add power through an external power supply. And for this demonstration here, I've just connected a simple LED to output number one. And I will show you what that does. Okay, over here on the computer, first thing you want to do is open up JMRI. And what I have here is... You come over to tools and under programmers you want this one the single CV programmer and then you also want the turnout control and what that does is it will open up these two windows here that I already have opened and so you will be using both of these to set up and program the board. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and set the board ID and when you set that board ID the following the outputs will follow the number starting with whatever number you program it to so for instance if you set it to CV 10 or board ID of 10 I should say then your first output will be 10 and then 11 12 and so on if you're using it to control turnouts you will have eight of those if you are using it for the on off switches you will have 16 and let me go ahead and show you here how to set the board ID it's very simple you'll just want to first make sure your track power is on which will light the board and you can see it there the board is lit and you want to press the button right there and that turns on the red LED so now the board is ready for programming. So using your turnout control, we are going to set this to 10. So we will put a 10 in here and press the throne. And when you come back over here, you will notice the red LED light has gone out. So therefore we know the board has accepted that and the board now has an address of 10. Moving on, what we will do is we'll go ahead and pull up the manual here and we'll just start here at the top and look at some of these. Um, we're not going to go through all these because you really don't need them. Uh, if you get into some of this advanced programming, then you probably don't need my help on a lot of this, but uh, we'll go ahead and start with the main CVs and things that you might want to look at to get going. Uh, the first one you want to pay attention to is the CV47. Uh, also make note of this. This board is write only. So there's really uh, no way to read the CVs back. Uh, so it's just you just write them and go on. And if you need to make a change or something doesn't work, just repeat it and um, just go on from there. So as you can see here you've got your turnout control depending on the type of uh, switch motor you have connected this would be uh, like your atlas snap switches uh, things like that and then so on down you've got here's your 16 on off switches um, in the part one video I had used CV uh, 13 the preset 13 uh, to control the turnouts however 
Uh, I found that some of the tortoises don't necessarily throw all the way on using the timed output. So I would recommend now using preset number six for tortoises and cobalts. Uh, just if you have some that move a little slower than others, this will ensure that they do throw all the way. And a lot of this other is for setting up different types of signals or lighting effects. And if you want to just uh, really get to know how this menu works, it's really not too difficult. Um, it can be a little overwhelming at first, but um, it's really not too hard once you understand how these, these charts work here. On the far side over here, these are the CV values. And these are the numbers here that you would be setting like for instance the cv47 you want to change that to the one of these numbers here and that is the preset so that tells the board this is what you will be doing and then as you get down farther down for instance uh like cv107 here this is the range that that cv can be programmed to and this is the default value that it would come with. So um, we will come on down and now right here, you see where CV113 is, you have output configuration number one. There's your range. That is the default value. Now, these are the bits that are programmable. Uh, and the way you would do that is you add your values over here for whatever you are changing inside of this table. Then you add these values up and whatever that total number is, is what you program CV113 for. So if you want a blink effect, you can see here, zero is no blinking, one is blinking active, and then it's also then would be controlled with CV112, which is up here where it controls the speed. And then your random effects and lengths. And then, of course, here's the fading and your intensity. So by default, for instance, and the intensity is 15. However, if you want to dim it down some, you would just lower this value. So if you're not using a fade, then you would have zero again no blinking would be a zero no random effect zero pulse length zero so if you just want the switch to turn on and with no effect at full output you would have the number 15 here because this is the highest you can choose and so you would just program CV113 to a value of 15 because you are not adding anything else here that will set that to always constant on no effect at full intensity so you can play with these numbers very easily and to get the desire that you like and then some of these are also um, have further programming and effects by using these up here and they are referenced down here um, now this only controls configuration number one. This is so this is output number one on the board. So this same table here applies to all of these configuration outputs down here. So you can have different effects for each output. So you would just change, for instance, if you're going to do the now, if you want to do output number two, instead of programming it to CV13, you would just add up what you want here and then program that to CV114 and you can see there's all 16 of these are right here and um, it's the same here on CV131 where you have this is controlling the group of four for when you're doing signaling and here are the presets for those and so again all of these would be uh, these presets here would apply to 131 but then this same chart also applies to 132 33 and 134 and then the function mapping um, this let's say you want to use if you have board ID number 10 uh, like we just set and when you 
close and throw a turnout command to cycle the on off status of output number one. And let's say you also need another output to throw at the same time. And on this example here, you can see key one is going to now control output two and five. So you want both of those to switch on and off with number the first one in your series. And again, this will be whatever you originally programmed your board to. Then you can just alter those CVs by adding them together and then programming them into the first one here. If you have one that is in the group number two, which is the blue or the group B, then you would use the value over here. And the black shows the example of that um, right here. So you may have to look at that a couple different times to fully understand it. But once you once you see how that's done, it's really not that difficult. And um, well, that's about all of that I'm going to go through on the manual. Let me jump back over to the programmer just to show you here how easy this is to program. Uh, first thing we were going to do here is we are going to set a CV um, and we will go back to over here and we want to have the blink rate change. I have it set to a blink, uh, blink rate right now and um, let me go ahead and plug in the throttle here and so that way we can control the turnouts or the turnout switch here. And we program that to 10. And now you can see the LED light is blinking. And if we throw it to thrown, the LED light goes out. Back to closed, the LED light is blinking. So over here, um, we have a blink rate in CV112, and it has a default of 183. And let's say we want to make this LED blink really fast. So what we will do is jump back over here to our programmer and we're going to change that to 112 and we want to make it blink faster so we're going to drop it all the way down to 10. Uh, you want to use decimal here since we're programming on the main it none of this matters. Uh, we are going to change this to the long address of 9999 and op spike mode uh, since we are not programming via the local net and what you do is come over and press that that turns on the LED and it stops the uh, output from flashing and what we'll do is go ahead and write the CV and come back over and press the button and that will turn out the light and so now we have it programmed. And as I cycled the turnout command, you can see we now have a very fast blink rate on the LED. So that is how you can very easily program all your presets and CV values using JMRI and the with the turnout control and the simple programmer. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.